so um <clears throat> so the first thing i did was go to cg trader and um i bought a an um um models i bought models pack of models which is um character models and um building i mean construction city things like that so that is what i bought so it's all packed together in one um like more like one folder and at the end of the day it was around 60 um nine dollars 69.30 dollars that is what i bought um the whole thing so now i have um I have the animation I, I I mean now I have the characters so um, the characters which is this low poly private houses and characters so this is for the characters and this is for the private houses which includes um, the constructions um, the city we have parks a lot of things like that are in there so that is what i have got for that so now um the the next thing now is animation how do i do the animation so i went to mixamo just go to mixamo.com then you can um, get animations that you want there so you have to log in and um, after logging in then you search for the kind of animation uh, you need uh, so what I actually typed on my own in my own case was um, um, dancing you know since it, it was going to be like um, the, um, baby um, children animation kids animation you know talking about um, um, dancing playing a lot of things like kids can actually do so those are the things I download so what you have to do is before you can download this you have to like login so i did login so after my login so this is what i do i make sure that um i'm working i i should know or you should know the the um, frame rate you want to work with so let's say i want to get this capoeira animation so it's going to give me um, um the animation preview here if i don't like this um character i can change it but the reason why i chose the character is because it's similar to the character that i bought from the cg trader because it has a big head you know baby or children um, characters are always having this kind of huge head so that is why I picked it so that if the hand is um, intercepting the head here, I can easily know from here the kind of challenge that I'm going to face at the end of the day. So I can spread um, the space, uh, space um, the arm, I mean the hand, I can space it if I like. You see that it's most wide, widely spread out now. So I'll click, uh, if when I'm done with this, I'll click download. So after download, you can see this is the frame rate. I um, like I said, I'm working with um, um, 24 frames per second, and make sure that this is FBX binary, which is the first one. Then what for this with skin is going to download this character, and you don't need the character, so you choose without the skin. So that is all. Then you click um, download. So um, that is all for that. So uh, basically, I have what I need now. I have various animations. Then I have the characters. I'm going to be working with so now uh, the next thing that I need to do now the next challenge that I faced was actually how to build uh, my environment you know how to make it make sense because at the end of the day my PC is not too strong so um, see um, the info on my PC uh, or I can actually say um, property so you can see i have 80, 8 gig ram and i have uh, um, 3 um, um, three gigahertz processor speed and core i5 uh, i7 basically this is no good for 
3D animation basically but I this is what I had and this is what I needed to work with so um, I was having issue with the environment how I was going to build the environment you know I didn't want much uh, poly counts um, to be in the in, in the scene because it's going to take time to render even while animating or while working in this um, um, interface it's, it was going to be very hard for me to work on so I needed to you know know how to maneuver the, the fact that I had to like model um, I was I was looking for how to really do it not to have too much uh, stuff in my scene so basically uh, let's let's begin. So this is what I do. Um, the first step that I need to do that I need to um, take is have my character in inside. So I would go to the character that I, I bought. Um, so uh, let's say I have the characters here. So like I said, I would be working with um, um, F F F P X. So I can bring uh, for instance this is f1 this is female then m1 this is male so but i was gonna uh, let's let's pick uh fem female first let's pick then this is it this is it so you can see this is it so um uh, now you can see that um the texture doesn't come in with it the texture doesn't come with it so what i can do to um restore the texture um, um all i will do is go to the folder of the um, model that i bought then i can see the texture here so i can select this um the location copy Control c or command c then i'll go to attribute editor select the skin so i can really actually change this because i want to render with um i want to render with um um arnold Renderer, but this is fun. This is like a Maya material. So to change this to Arnold material, I'll say assign new material. Um, select Arnold, then select AI standard surface. Now I have it. So I'll go to color and um, pick a file. Then I'll go back to this place and um, paste uh, the location that I copied the other time. Paste it and press enter. Press enter. Yeah, this is it so I'll select just select any one of this then you have you can see this is the um, the model so now you can um, decide to change some colors say um, the skin tone you don't like it the air you don't like it the um, eye color uh, the eye po po poopy you don't like it you want to change a few things so if the easy way to change this is go back to just select the skin then um okay easily what i do is go to um just right click and hold then uv then come to shell so you can easily select anyone you want to change so let's say i want to change the um, um the color of this but i don't want it to be green so i'll select it like that you select the first one shift select the second one then go to uv then uv editor so um i don't need this so you can see I'll press um, W on the keyboard. So this is the um, I that I, I selected. You can see this is on the blue. So I want to take it to the black. So um, after that, you can see now that um, if I select this and press F, so it has changed. But I don't really like this. I think it has to be like more like brown, something like that. So I can bring it to brown. So if you check this, you can see it has changed. So uh, let's say the air color, I don't like it. So I can easily just change. Uh, press shift, select multiple air. So just for the purpose of this um, video. So I'll select this. I don't have to select this, the ribbon. So, so basically this is all the air okay this so I have another one here so that's that's everything so uh, coming back to this place this is the air so I can take it to black or let's say she tinted her hair so I can bring it to brown or say pink so whatever you see is gonna be pink you can see so that is how to change 
stays dead. So that is why I have different, um, what's it called? Different color, skin color. So basically I have that now. So now let's bring in um, the, the animation that we've downloaded. So I'll go back to, so I, I have Mixamo character animations. So let's say I want uh, uh, dancing. So I'll bring this dancing, bring it inside. So this is the character here. So, so let's see how it's dancing. So that's the way it is dancing. So basically I don't need much. So what I need to do now, the next step now is to make the two characters have a T pose for their initial animation. You know, the, this one that we bought, this little character doesn't have any animation yet. But if I click the X-ray, you can see that it has a joint, but this has animation and this doesn't if i if, you, if i click anyone you can see this is the animation here so but now the next step is make the two characters have t shape have t pose or rather so uh what i will do is press minus one here so i'm going to like this is where i will set the default stance to for them so i can uh, move this guy out so that this is clear for me so um, what i will do now is press q for just uh just select two so uh, i've select the the root joints so i'll press um, um control or command then left click uh, right click then i can go to select hierarchy so i've selected the whole joint every bit of the joint now so the next thing now is go to uh, my um, channel box or layer editor go to the um, rotates or the rotates um, um, axis and press zero so I have this in T shape so so now my minus one of the animation is in T shape so the next thing now is set this my animation into um, T shape so uh, it helps when you click um, the um, joint x-ray or x-ray joints x-ray joints it's it is easier for you because you are seeing the joint already so it's easier to click rather than just having it like this so it might be hard i might not know which bone i'm selecting so that is why it is necessary that you click this guy and to make your work faster you can actually still go to this space and select surface object and deselect it so uh, I'll check it rather so you cannot click the meshes again you can only click all these other things and which is um, um, the locator bones and other things here so but now I need just this so now because if I select this and go to this place and say um, zero it, it, uh, the orientation it will it will uh, miss out the orientation because this was done by another artist and he might not really do it the way this this people would do it so the best way now is to do this manually and the best way to do it manually is to use orthographic view go to the um, the front first and um, click the bone as well so I'll do rotate so make sure when you are rotating you are rotating in uh, the settings for the rotation is world not object world so it is easier that way so i just rotate it up like this and it's easier because all you need to do is since you are rotating in world this axis stays in that spot so when you are rotating just make sure this aligns this bone here aligns with this this um, axis here so when i do that i just do it like this and this as well do it like this yeah so that is it from the, for the front so now you go to the top view go to the top view i'll select the bone um x-ray as well so now i'll start um i'll start my um uh, the, the selection from this joint which is this joint here so um that is uh, the shoulder joint so i'll select from there then select my rotation um, stuff, then rotate like so, um, then go to the next one, rotate. Just make sure that it aligns with um, the horizontal axis, which is the X axis, I mean the blue axis. So come to this side as well, um, like that, 
um, just to rotate make it align uh, then this as well rotate make it align you see just look at uh, just use your eye your eyes doesn't have to be too accurate or 100 percent accurate so that is what i want so now the next thing now is to go to human ik so if you can't find that here you can go to uh say um if your own is not here it, my own is here because i've been using it in the past all you have to do is go to this place modeling and change it to rigging then go to skeleton you see human ik just select it you're going to see it here so uh, to uh, do the characterization of this meaning you want to um, like make this um, um, this bones or just this joints controllable like give it something you can really control so you want to use one animation to drive the other one so we want to use this animation here to drive this character to have the same animation as its its own self so we need to do characterization for the two so the first thing uh, you can either go first for either of the two so i want to go for this one first so i will go to um, create just select um, click on create character definition so you have that so you can double click on this then select double click on this the spine the first spine let me scale this up um or zoom off zoom up i'm so sorry for that so double, double click on this select this double click on this and select this it doesn't really matter just know that um, just make sure that they are in the same size so um the shoulder i'll select this go out select this select this select this so i can actually um select for uh, uh fix for all the fingers as well but i don't want to go into that um go to that details even in the animation I'm, I'm i'm planning to do i don't want to go that deep so i'll just let it be this reference i will select this locator to be the reference so uh now this is my neck obviously this so if i select this neck can pick that then this is the head so i don't need all this all, all this um the eye poppy and all that i don't need it so basically that is what and i don't have control for this in this place so i think i'm cool so i can go to rename character and say um female female o1 just do that so uh now there is another thing you should know in case you have multiple characters here uh, probably you might want to have um, some other characters like two or three more characters to um, follow this animation maybe you want to do just like the reference i showed you so what you do is try and save this definition so when you bring another character in you just go and select it to be like a template you just go and pick it and do it so i can say um edit character and say see save character definition template then i can pick it and say um um let's say kid anim underscore anim so i can do that and just say okay so next time i'm bringing in another character like this that has the same definition as this i'll just go to um to do this edit and load or i can come to this place and say kit template select kit and say okay so you just go straight up so that is that for that so um before i used to select this but that was a time i was using mac and i had a counter issue like logged in selection um, skeleton definition but nothing is gonna happen to it you just be careful when you have this so the next thing is select none then i can reclick this then double click this and select that is the uh, roots of um, the, this character here so just like um, the, the, the same way I saved this the other time this is to want to have saved it so instead of clicking this one by one selecting or assigning bones to it so I can go to this and say see HIK then it brings Mixamorig you can see Mixamorig so it's easy that way so 
just you can see i just have it like this so in case you want to be moving this guy around you can actually go and create and locator for it as well but i definitely will not be moving it around so it's going to be here so if i want to move anyone around it's going to be this one since this is just a reference it's not going to show in my exports or in my render at the end of the day all i need is just this um girl here so i don't need the um what's it called the locator so i can come here and delete it so i have my this uh, my um source or reference so i can go and rename it and say source you see why i, I, I use it as source so this is my character itself which is the character that i need to dance so i'll go and select female one for the character and the source now i'll go and say source one you can see source one so that is my source so you can see that it changed um, its um, location now and it's so the reason why i said i had to give the two characters um t pose is because of this so their beginning is the same thing so it will be able to it will be easy for this bone here to drive this character if they are starting off at the t pose so now if i go to this you can see the guy the girl is doing the same thing as this bone is doing so if i play you can see so to, for it to be clear so let me just um select this and check it so you can see how it's doing you can see so that is it that is it so um if this bone is getting in the way i can go to show and say joint so it's disabled so i have just my character alone now this is where this thing comes in handy this um locator comes in handy you can see that it's not standing on the grid so to, to make it stand on the grid i can go to either the side or um, left and this is the grid here the tick line is the grid so i can bring this down to stand on the grid so whatever ground i'm i'm, I'm creating it, it, she will be standing on the ground and not floating so say this is the um the ground now so if i go to uh, polyplane change this to one so the reason why i did that i could have left it like this but the reason why i did that is i wanted just one face now i have 100 faces like this but if i delete change all the delete the faces and make it one one so i have just one face and that way i'm able to maximize or minimize the number of poly counts or the poly faces that i'm going to be using so that uh, you know working on the scene is more faster and more accurate and less stressful actually so now that i have this now so um basically that is that is that for that that is that for that now the second issue that i had was having to create um to create um what's it called environment and make it make sense so basically what i would do for this to just to um you know to be um fast about it what i actually did was go to just you know go to google and search for um free models you see free models um copyright free models that you can use so now for for the purpose of this um, um tutorial so i'm just scale it up and take it back and i can select oh sorry so i can't select this because this is um unchecked so i can check it and select it now so i can go to, back to this place and say uh maybe 50 50 so i have a lot of this so now uh, i'm trying to create um like more like a landscape so i can um, um scale it up more i'm just trying to create like a landscape so we have we have the background cover because one of the challenges i faced was how am i going to do it that i would not be seeing the horizon horizon i rise i horizon horizon i don't know you know what i'm trying to say the the depths or where the the ocean and the, the cloud are meeting i don't want the my <clears throat> viewers to be seeing it so i had to like cover the background so we'll fill it with um buildings and constructions and some other things but in this case let's say i just want to have some kind of um natural landscape behind so i can go to vertex select some vertexes here 
and um, to to make it look awesome if i scale this up it's not interesting at all so i can actually just go to um settings um two settings and go come to soft selection and check it so soft selection so whatever i select you can see now so um okay i want it to be um be more so i can say so let me take this out so while i'm creating i'm increasing this it's showing at the background so i think it's cool for this so i can print this up you can see now that it's more smooth smoother i can um, just select this and bring this up i can select this bring this a little bit like that so select one here bring it up it's just what well, all i'm trying to do is just to fill the background so that when we are watching um, the animation the girl dance you don't see what is behind i mean um, you know just to minimize the number or the amount of stuff you have to keep behind her so basically that is what i'm trying to do now you can see this now uh, you can see now if this is what we have now obviously i've been able to max out what is behind her so i can easily just say um you see this now i can press 3 just to make it more you know spheric this is more like a mount mountain or something it could be like um green land or something anything that is realistically possible so um for this i can select this and press 3 as well so that it smoothens uh uh, how so since i'm when, since i'm done with this um one thing that i can do in case i have more um characters that i want to bring in for um this particular scene say i'm bringing another character here so what i would do is bake the animation on this character bake it to the, to the character and make it stay permanently because if i go to this place um human ik and deselect this it's not going to drive it again so i need to um, um permanent the animation so let me select this again um, press q so that that thing is gone then i can press ctrl right click and hold and go to select hierarchy then i can go to edit and see key just come down and see big so it's gonna big everything like so 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 that is it so if i come to this place say no now it has its own animation she she has her own animation now. so um i'll select this so it's doing its own even if i delete this guy now if i delete it so still have this one move around so now i can give this guy um, um a texture say standard i can just like the way I did um, or I can easily just give this green and um, make it darker so now I'm done this is exterior so what I did basically for the animation was just uh, go to um, say rendering and um, create um, um, what's it called camera then I can select go to the probably the um f the front let's say the front i basically or actually will not be using front and go to panel perspective and choose camera so you'll be seeing through the camera you just created now so i can select this scale from here uh, since i can see her from here then come here and press f to this window press f so i can see uh so i'm looking through my camera now the camera that i created you can see camera down down here so I can go to show and say don't show the bone again so this is it so um, to see the camera or film gauge just select this so this is what the camera is saying so I can now say uh, let me go to um, say uh, Arnold uh, Brenda go to light and create sky dome light sky dome is just the natural lighting for exterior basically so uh, after that i can now say um, um, render so we are rendering now so this is what we have for the rendering 
so now you can see this is all um, this is too reflective it's too reflective and it looks unnatural so what I can do to fix this is select the the sky dome light and go to color and give it um, file then select this file and find look for um, go download you can just go anywhere um, just go to your Google and search HDRI HDRI so um, I think I have one in in um, I think download HDRI so I'm looking for a, a, a what's it called uh, more like a sky a sky since um, we're using the sky dome light and it's an exterior so I'm just looking for a sky so this is the sky so I want to use this so let's see what happens now reload 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 so you can see now so this feels more natural this feels more natural so that is it so now uh, uh, another adjustment that I want to do is on this character you can see it's reflecting a lot so I can select the character and go to the AI standard and come to um, specular which is basically the glossiness or the reflection of um, the object and just to reduce the weight so um, basically I think this is the way I would want it and for the ground as well for let's say we want to make it a grass or we are seeing this as a grass then definitely this specular weight must go to zero so this is not reflecting at all this is not reflecting at all another thing that I, I do not enjoy is the fact that we can see the green the reflection of this from on um, this character's body so um, what we can do to that is go to um, just select this guy select um, this guy go to put um, I think uh, yes uh, the polish shape here come to Arnold and see this um, diffuse reflection just select it you can see it's all gone it's all gone just that click diffuse reflection it's all gone you can actually also select specular reflection so it's all gone now so it's not reflecting to this character so it's standing they're both standing on their own so that is it so now you have the animation you have the whole environment and uh, see imagine this was not here let me just hide this you can see it seems as if this guy is standing on um,